Today we're going to talk about how to add steppers to your Big Tree Tech GTR version 1.0. Now there's a couple of things that we need to review real quick. This is our X stepper port. This is our Y stepper port. This is our Z stepper port. This is our E0, our E1, and our E2. These three are used for extrusion. Now the Z stepper port is somewhat unique in that you have two steppers for NEMA 17 steppers. Now in order to enable the second one, you need to remove these jumpers if you're going to use two. Now the other thing is you have to set jumpers in this area and I'll talk about this a little bit more in depth for you right now. Currently, the board when it arrives is default for I believe spy with these jumpers down here so they're going to need to be removed so to do that what I'm gonna do is take this dental pick here and I'm gonna pop these out so after these are out what we're going to do is we're going to find the correct stepping that needs to be set with the jumpers. So I'm going to show you that as soon as I remove this jumper from the board. So now that that's out, we need to go to the documentation and see what we need to know. So inside the Big Tree Tech documentation for the GTR and the M5, which I'll leave a link in the description for you for. I'm going to talk about what it says for the mode interface description. And what that is, is basically how we're going to set the mode for our steppers. So in this case, we're doing step dir with the A4988 and the DRB8825. So what they're showing you down here is your actual jumper configuration. So you have your M3, 2, and 1 located here. Then they show a ground. They also show a reset and sleep functionality, as well as 3.3 volts. So that's the logic for your stepper. But down here, they talk about in the yellow box, you have to put caps. So that'll give you M1, 2, and 3 but you need to have those on voltage. Now what they don't talk about in the documentation for this particular board for the GTR is that you also need to set the reset and the sleep functionality. So it's the two pins that are located here and here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as we know now, we know M1, or MS1, MS2, and MS3 are here. And we know that the reset sleep is here and here. So I'm gonna show you how to set that real quick. So I'm gonna take a jumper and I'm gonna place it on the board right over here. And I'm gonna slide that into place. That's MS1. Now MS2 will be right here. And then MS3 will be right here. Now for the step dir, or excuse me, the other two jumpers are going to be placed right here. So that's what it should look like when you're setting up these two particular steppers. So I'm going to do that for the Y real quick. So I'm going to do it here for MS1. here for MS2 and here for MS3 and then I'm going to jump the two pins here that are used for the uh, pardon me for the sleep and for the reset so I'm going to push that down so now we need to learn about our steppers because they're somewhat unique so first, we need to know where the enable pin is for both the 
GTR version 1.0. So wherever the enable pin will be located on this board. And then we also need to know where the enable pin will be located on these two steppers. So I'm going to show you how to figure that out. So here's the underside of the GTR version 1.0. And as you can see, in the upper left hand corner of the board, this is actually the reverse of the board because it's flipped over. You're going to look for what says EN. So EN is located right here. You also want to make sure that you know where the ground is. And over here, there's a direction pin that apparently is not well written, but that's okay. And then for the steppers that we're using being the X and the Y, you can see underneath here that the enable pin is going to be located right here. And our ground is going to be over here. And then of course our direction pin same thing goes for the Y. You have your enable here, and then you have your ground pin right here, and your direction right here. So I flipped the board back over so you can see in the perspective that you're going to see it. So your enable pin is going to be here, 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 and here. So you need to remember where those are because if you plug these in backwards according to their enable pins you will destroy both your stepper and your board so here's a close-up of the drv 8825 and i need to show you a couple of things on the board now right here i placed a heat fin this is designed to wick away the heat from the actual chip that's underneath. We also have a trim pod. Now keep in mind the trim pod acts like a faucet where it lets the current flow through it. So what I mean by a faucet is when you turn on a faucet, water flows. When you turn off a faucet, water does not flow. This is usually calibrated pretty good at the factory so you may never need to actually calibrate it with the trim pod. But here's where it gets important. Here is the enable pin located right here on the board. And then of course you have your ground and your direction pin. These are the most important things to aligning your stepper board correctly on your GTR version 1.0. Here's the top side of the A4988. And as you can see, we have a trim pot over here, and then we have our um, metal on top that's used for wicking away. This is a heat sink. And as you can see, the other important landmarks are the enable pin, and then we have the direction pin and ground pin. Okay, now that we know the enable pin is located over here, and we know the enable pin is located over here, we can take our stepper and we can place it over the X stepper port and then apply a little bit of pressure to put that in place. Now to verify with the DRV8825, we can always flip it over, find the enable pin, and then place it correctly in. So notice how the trim pods in this case point in opposite directions. This one is away from the power supply, and this one is towards the power supply. So to set this up now so that we can actually load firmware, what we need to do is actually remove the TF drive and place it in our micro SD adapter, and then place this in our computer. Now in a moment, we're gonna actually use a USB to actually load this with firmware. So we're gonna prepare it by moving over the jumper like so. Okay, to start with, like always, I'm gonna show you the SD card. The reason I'm showing it is to show you that it has firmware.cur, or the current firmware that we loaded 
on a previous install. Notice how it's in all capital letters. I just wanted to review that so you can see the time change in a moment. So we're gonna go to VS Code. We're gonna open up VS Code. And obviously the first thing that we need to do is actually open something. So we're gonna go to Explorer. We're gonna go to Open Folder. And then we're gonna go to our download folder where we downloaded Marlin firmware that's now unzipped and extracted. And we're going to double click on the second folder. Then we're going to say select folder. Inside this folder, obviously, we have some configuration to do. Some of it may be review for others. But keep in mind that the reason I cover this is because sometimes people come in and haven't seen the initial tutorials. So we're going to go to source core boards.h. Inside here, we're going to search for our motherboard, which is going to be GTR underscore V. And that brings us to our version. So I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to go over to our configuration.h. And I'm going to search on motherboard. And I'm going to highlight the ramps 1.4 board and paste our board over that. We also need to set our serial port up here to negative one. And then we need to set our steppers up that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna do a search on the A4988, and that'll bring us to where we need to be. Inside here, we have several different steppers outlined, but we need to enable first what we can use. So we need to remove the comment for the X, and the Y. And notice how they're both A4988, that's the default, but we're gonna be using a DRV8825 for the second one. So we're gonna paste it right here. Now to configure it for stepping, you need to know a little bit about default access steps per unit. Now they give you a default value of 8080 for X and Y, and then of course they cover the Z axis and your extruders. I'm gonna skip talking about your Z-axis and your extruders for now so that you can understand this concept and apply it to other things. So in my web page here, I've opened up the RepRap calculator. So note the address up here. This is one good way to configure your steppers. So we're gonna skip the section about filament what we're interested in is steps per millimeter on a belt-driven system. So in this case, we're using the default motor type of a NEMA 17 stepper with 1.8 degrees of step. There are others in here. I suggest using this if you're a beginner, being the 1.8 degrees of step. Then micro-stepping, these are actually your steppers. So this would be for like the A, 4988, which is 1 16th of a step. Now, the DRV8825 has a maximum degree of step, or it has 1 16th, or excuse me, not 1 16th, 1 32nd of a step. So, I'm going to show you down here what these mean. So, your belt pitch is probably going to be a GT2 belt. So it's going to have a pitch of two. And then most pulleys or teeth, they're not going to be eight. It's probably going to be closer to 16. So this is what your value would look like initially for the DRV, or excuse me, for the A4988. For the DRV8825, it would be 132nd, which would be 200. So we're gonna set this up in our Marlin firmware by changing our X, which is the A4988 to 100. And then we're gonna change our Y to 200 because it's twice the degree of step. So now that we have that set, we need to prepare to compile our build. So we have to go to platform.io.ini. 
And right now our default environment is for our ramps configuration. So it's showing the Mega 2560 chipset. That is not our chipset. So we're gonna do a search on GTR underscore, and this will bring us to the big tree underscore GTR underscore V1 underscore zero. So we're gonna copy that. Then we're gonna go back to configuration, or excuse me, we're gonna go back to platform IO at the very top. And we're gonna highlight the default environment and then paste it right here. Now, because our board does not have the functionality at the moment to connect via USB, we cannot use the upload button down here. But we can use the build button, which is also known as compile. So this is gonna take a few minutes, so I'm gonna click on this and let it start for you. Okay, now that the compilation has completed or the build, you can see that it took five minutes and 10 seconds to build. So we're gonna check to see what our SD card says and currently it's not on there. So let's go back and go to the .pio folder. We're gonna actually open up the build folder then the big tree pack folder by right clicking and going to reveal and explore. Then we're gonna navigate down through that folder to where it says firmware.bin. We're gonna right click and we're gonna send this to the SD card. So as you can see now, they're both on there. This one will be loaded when we put it or place it in the drive on the GTR version 1.0. Okay, so let's place it in the drive by taking it out of the micro USB SD adapter and then placing it inside the TF drive or SD micro SD port. Now, in order to actually load it, we're gonna need to apply five volts of current via the USB cable. So I'm gonna connect the small side or big side, excuse me, to the USB connection here. And the small side of the computer, and you may hear a beep, and as you can see, the green light's flashing and it's loading. So off camera, I connected up the power supply for the stepper drivers and the board power. I also connected up the NEMA steppers to uh, keep this brief, but now I also need to move the jumper over to here. Now, as you can see, it, the system is not energized at the moment. So I'm going to energize this in just a second, but first I'm gonna attach the serial USB back to the computer. Notice how there's no beep and there's no flashing because it's already set up for the direct power. So I'm gonna plug this in. And as you can see, everything powers up okay. Okay, to test this, I'm going to open up the print run directory and then Pronerface. And just so you know, no one's paying me or sponsoring me to do this tutorial. And I purchased all the equipment with my own money, but will be placing Amazon affiliate links in the description. So I'm going to connect to the printer. And as you can see, it says printer is now online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move 10 steps in the positive direction on X to see how that looks. So now I'm gonna do 10 steps or millimeters for the Y. And notice how they went in the opposite direction. This you can solve by either flipping the plug that goes to the stepper or you can fix it in Marlin by inverting the direction. So let's see if we can go 100 steps. So that looks good. Now let's try the Y. So now I wanna take a moment to thank you for watching my tutorial. And I want you to let you know that I now have a Patreon if you're interested. I do appreciate all the tips I'm getting. I don't have enough time in the video to mention everyone. And I'm also 
using a Discord. So if you see me online with Discord, which will be in the description, you'll be able to contact me as well. So thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.